Hello, welcome back to the pen- the, I was gonna say penultimate, the ultimate final episode of Jurassic Park Builder Glacier Tournament. That's right, we have literally six hours left on the clock, and we have to get into All-Star and beat it. That's my- that's my goal for myself. If I can do that, and there is nothing else for me to do. We've maxed up everything, I've got everything in the parks, um, we have all the creatures, and I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy leaving the series like that. There is nothing more for me to do. If any new creatures do, however, come out. Uh, oh, that's two creatures. And the yeah, there's three creatures, okay. I think the second round of this one is only one creature. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Because um, in Jurassic, it only did one creature. Rugans, Lijana. You, is that you? Are you watching? Is that your name or profile picture? If it's not your name, is it your profile picture? I'm gonna beat you. Uh, fingers crossed. We're whole elephant team! Ah, oh, yeah! So, yeah, pretty much, um, this is gonna wrap it up. It's, it's, this has been... Yeah, it feels like just yesterday that, um, the, uh, Glacier Tournament and Glacier Battles were sort of... <gasps> oh my god, trailer, look, look, what's coming? We knew it was coming and it's finally here! And it came at Christmas. And... I remember it was about the time when I was leaving for America. I didn't tell you guys I was leaving. And uh, it literally just came out. And what's even, what's more interesting is when Aquatic Tournament came out, um, I had to quickly mass pre-record that because I went away to Thailand. And then when Glacier Tournament came out, and um, I had to mass pre-record that. It was literally the night before I flew and I was just recording, recording, and I, I think I didn't get much sleep that, that night because it was just rendering, 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 um, and uploading and uploading, and I it was just a crazy time to think, like, that actually happened. Like, pretty awesome, but bloody stressful. And here we are now at the final, and I'm sat exactly where I was when I recorded the first ever episode of this. Exactly the same, with a cushion behind a microphone, a pop filter, the Mac, a Seagate, on this weird wobbly desk thing I use. I think I might post a picture of it, like, this was the setup that was used for these videos, and the same for Dino Hunter Deadly Shores, because I don't think you guys really think about that, like, oh, he's so professional, he's probably got this whole recording booth, but I don't. <laughs> I would love one, but I do not. So, come on, sausage face. Oh, we're actually doing pretty well. Um, for not using a single block and special. They have, and we have Mastodon. I think Mastodon is exactly the same stat as Sausage Face. Sausage Nose, Sausage Face, Sausage... It's just, whatever, he's just blooming ugly. I don't, I don't even know what sort of use a trunk that thick would have had. Oh, how did we even know it had a trunk that thick? I, like... I would like to, like, look... Like, what kind of use would a trunk that wide have? You, like, elephants nowadays just have a long, thin one. And that makes sense. Because you don't need it wide. What are they using it for? Um, like, what the hell did he use that trunk for? That oh, baffles me. I'd love to go back in time. Just, what? Did, just ask it a question. Excuse me. Mate. What is wrong with your nose? <laughs> and I've got a cheek. i got a whopper. Um, so... Wow, we're actually... I'm gonna have to go for a special here because a normal's not gonna kill it and if I don't do that we may lose Yeah, just that little bit extra push got us a uh, little brute is now gonna go for the specials um, That will give us two regular hits. I'm pretty sure a two uh, two regulars and a special will kill him so we'll use uh, Two blocks to stop his specials then we can absorb one hit Yeah so we go for... Ooh, actually, I don't know. Now we think about it. He may be a four-hitter, I think. Hmm, interesting. Now, do I go for two specials, which is 15... Sorry, 30. Or do I go for all my blocks, which is just 10... 20, sorry. Yeah, we'll just go for all blocks, because that's 10 claws cheaper than... Going for two specials to finish it, which would be 30. Depending if this... The next hit could kill me. Yeah, it could kill me. Okay. 
So we're gonna go for 20 claws, which is the one block, instead of two specials. And which would be in 30. If that makes sense, I, I'm, I don't listen to myself when I talk, and I'm pretty sure I just come up with gob, gobbledygook. So it's quite interesting. Do you guys understand me, or do I talk too fast to make no sense? Probably both. Probably the latter. Uh, let's go for the charge and kill it. So we save 30. Burdush. And this is this is Platinum League. We're not even in All-Star yet. I'm a bit worried because we've got to buy some creatures back. I just scrolled across and what's quite interesting is we'll do a quick overview of all the tournaments and winning lo wins and losses. And I'm pretty sure I haven't lost a single Jurassic or a single Aquatic. Actually, I may have lost one Jurassic. Actually, maybe. No, I don't think I have. Not even a single. Um, so we're going to go for... That was two. Definitely put in two, so I'm going to say three. Um, now, I would be very disappointed if this team didn't do it. And against that team, pretty good. Because um, Little Dumpling isn't very... Isn't a strong hitter, and Sausage Face isn't a strong hitter. On the best of days, and because they're bots, they're nerfed, so they will do about 2,000 and odd damage. So I'd say probably 2,200 damage. Even look at that, even Little Brute just does shy of 2,200. There's a little bit more, so I'm confident. Look how much macaroni does in comparison. Nothing! Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah, big cheat. Oh, what a cheat. Sore loser. Yeah, goes for a normal hit, and then like, oh yeah, can I go for a normal hit? Blocks it, and then retaliates with a special. So, Little Brute did 2,300. Bear in mind, it is the third best creature you can get, I think. And we do 2,500. And we are probably in top 10, top 15 territory with Macaroni. Ridiculous, isn't it? It's basically like I'm fighting something weaker than Macaroni, but has probably about an extra half of health. For an extra 50% of health. Starbucks comes in. Is Starbucks better in attack? I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like they're equal. Or maybe one's slightly better. In the roster, I think Starbucks has got more ferocity. But I'm curious now. I've never, I've never thought. Who is actually better? I oh, know Starbucks. It, 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 it makes it. It's got like. Why, wait, why did I call it Starbucks? That's right, because of its name. It's an S and a T. And it's got like, it's a book, so a deer. Um, and it looks like coffee. It's like a nice latte. Oh, 2,600. It's better than macaroni. But, minorly better. Not by, oh, obviously that little bit of attack scared it off. So we're going to go for the bite. Oh, didn't block. I'd expect a block just because they seem to do that when they switch and they go for the safe, safe switch, which is they switch and then block. But it didn't do it this time. Ooh, I think we could survive. I think we can survive one more hit. I think we could. So we're going to get two hits off here. Unless they go for a block. Which they don't. Oh my god. Ripping it to shreds. Sausage face came in here like, yeah, I'm going to clean up. And then died. Oh, and it did. You stunner. Right. Let's go for the final bite. It might. It, I don't think it's going to kill him. Nah. But look at that. Starbucks was already injured and it pulled it back. Awesome. Little Brute's out, I think. Oh, wait, no. I think Little Brute's got just less than half. So it comes a Coco Puff Hap. Beautiful. I loved it, Coco Puff. Wait, we, we can't do the song yet. We have to bite it. Now we can do the song. Just keep hopping, just keep hopping. Go with the Coco Puff Hap. Oh, and. For some odd reason, didn't go for my weakness. That is the rhino animation, so I'm gonna guess charge. Oh. Ooh, dearie me, somebody's touchy. Oh, there's my weakness, there's the swipe. Right, now we gotta be careful. Badoosh! You do not want to be kicked by that, and Coca Puff is better than Starbucks. I knew it! I knew it! Watch, they will go for their special now. 100%. Just you watch. Right, we're gonna have to go for our special here. Because one hit, more hit's not gonna kill him. Special will. And we're gonna be hit by a special right here. I knew it! Bloody hacks! Bloody hacks. 
Unless that's programmed. Because last time I did Aquatic, it was the third one when I should have blocked that he specialed as well. So we're gonna retaliate with the Cocoa Puff Punch. Punch and kick. Right, little brute. Ooh, instead of going for a 20 block and two regulars, I'm gonna go for a 10 special and hopefully that's gonna kill him. Let's go. Let's do it. Yes, awesome. Ah, oh, beautiful. And they added new sound effects. Look, like, what, what the hell does the camera do then? It's like, oh, just do something different with it. Fly the camera. I feel like that was a tween that they didn't anticipate. Like that was, when you move, when you have two keyframes, you would expect it to move straight to the other one from the previous one. But sometimes, depending on how the program feels, it will just throw the camera about and then land in, land in spot. So I feel like that's what happened. Uh, I'm gonna use Elasma Theorem. Again, they've used three creatures, so there was not a single one there. We have an Indrika Theorem. Oh, switch out! Oh, thank God. Woo! And a switch out for the Coca Puff. Awesome. What? Another sign that they are bots is the fact that they, they take out a creature and then put it in. And the fact is, when you take out a creature, it does not go, like, swooshing out. It just goes click and it disappears. So that doesn't make sense. And the fact is, as soon as the creature switches out of its slot, another one immediately fills it in. Even if the creature is not within the same, like, scroll distance. So you'd have to click one out, scroll, and then click another one in. And I don't care, even if you have a mouse, because I'm playing this with a touchpad. Um, there's no way that you can do that quickly enough to switch out, switch in. Because that's exactly what they do. Oh no, kitty! Opposable thumb, kitty. Not kill a kitty. Does not have the spotty butty. Oh, okay. Well, one more swipe's gonna finish me. Oh, one of the last creatures. I think this was um, the a creature that cost actual money. Oh no, it wasn't. That was the beaver. This was the last rare creature to get, like DNA rescue. It does a claim 3,000. It's all right. Uh, in, unfortunately, in um, in Glacier, like, from Jurassic Aquatic to Glacier, they get stronger, like, they get more health the, for the further you go up the, like, gold and whatnot, and they get more attack. And Glacier is the pinnacle of bests. Like, Indrithium's the most health, and pretty sure Gatorade's the most attack. Um, I could be wrong, actually. Maybe Hybodus has the most attack now. But that was something you bought, so... Oh no, that's not! You didn't buy Hybodus, you rescued him! You plumbin' bought the weird scissor face shark. Okay, use all their blocks, I gotta admit. Bit worried. Um, I don't think Elasmotherium has 3,000 attack, it's something like 2,800. Um, do Protodons out? They do still have two specials, and now I've gotta really predict this. I was a bit worried when I put this team in because I was like, I don't have a sweeper. Well, I do, but I didn't put him in last. Um, well, there, that's my weakness. That's a charge. I'm okay with that. I think we should go for two specials, which is going to kill Coco Puff. And hopefully, that little brute doesn't have full health. I'm hoping. I can't remember. So, we're going to go for another block just in case. Yes! Okay, we blocked one. Uh, we've won, I'm pretty sure now. Right, and one more special on our side. Let's go! Oh, no. Right, let's cook Puff out. Brings in Little Brute. Oh, it does have full health. Screw it, I'm gonna go for the final block, and then we can just have a charge off. I mean, I... It, it was no way, I'd either... I'd either do the 20 block or the 20 special. It, that's the way it was. I couldn't just go for one. Sorry, like, not go for either of them. Because then he would hit me with a special. And it would have been too much. And I wouldn't have been able to catch him up in the damage difference between the next few hits here. Even though he does less than me. Um, I think that special would have put him just slightly ahead. Because he went first too. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't even need to use the block. Let's have a look, see how much damage it does. 
Nah, I didn't need to. Ah, oh, damn it. I could have saved 20 claws. But who cares? I'm not going to play this again. <laughs> I'm free. So much recording. Itty bitty space. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love Aladdin? And there it is. Into All-Star. Another 20 bucks. What a sh All-Star League acquired. And there we- oh, we've already used it. Well, you know what? We don't need extra cups. We got this. We can buy Indricathurium back for five bucks, which is a, a steal, I will say. Uh, especially when I'm gonna get 60 bucks, too, at the end of this tomorrow. Not that I'm gonna use it for anything, because this is it. I, I will probably log in once more tomorrow to, cl to claim my prize, because it probably disappears. Um, oh, awesome. Guys, let's go. How many did they put in? They put in none so far. They put in none! <gasps> That's one. Two. Okay, yeah, they're putting all in. Okay. Yeah, there's three. Okay. I was like, oh, maybe we can put in some really low ones. But nope, nope, the game decided to go And when the game goes we have to go too. So. What you gonna do? So, it's quite a cool team we got here. Gatorade! Bite it. Who should I finish with though? <gasps> Who could be the final, the final glacier, the, the last ever glacier creature I use? Something I, I, I love. It has to be something I love. If I can finish with like Indracotherium, the gaming beaver, and that's weird saying that because it's me. <laughs> um, and something else. I want to finish on a high, like... I did Echo the Dolphin in Aquatic, and Echo the Dolphin had to take two hits. It had to be able to take two hits, so I have to also find something that can take two hits. And they wasted all their blocks on Lanky Larry! Oh, and the look at this team! That was not a good decision. Wasted a special and two- all their blocks, and now we've got the sweepers. We've got the things that kick ass and take names. 3,146? Can't shake a stick at it. Pretty good. That's a definite three-hit killer. However, I think we are too. We're three hits dead. Just because we don't have too much health. Like, the difference between our hit and their hit is about a thousand. Almost a thousand. But if you can look at the health bars, they've got like 3,000 extra health on us. So it looks about right. Like, we did 3,100. They do 2,000. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Oh, no. Gatorade's going to have to win this one. Easy. Yeah. 3,400. That's only 300 more than my regular attack. Hardly worth it, is it? Charge it. Murdoch brings an Indica Theorem. Sorry, Elasma Theorem, who hopefully will go for a special. Come on. Go for the overkill. Damn it. You're supposed to be scared of the snake. So Gatorade can go for two hits and kill it. And then we're going to block once. And if Cocoa Puff uses the special, it will do less damage than if a Lasmid uses it. 4,800, almost 5,000. Wow. And we're going to go for our one block here just in case. That's all right because... If Cocoa Puff gets to use it, we're gonna do it's gonna do less damage than if Elasmatherium used it. Which I've just said. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for another one, even though a regular charge would leave him with a tiny bit of health. I'd rather just kill it than risk myself. And there it goes. It probably only needed 4,000 to kill it there. 4,100. And it's gonna go for a special now because it's the last creature. It's very predictable, as this box system is. But I'm pretty sure. We're only going to have to use one more block. We're going to go for three swipes and kill it. Oh, safe. Easy. Easy. Oh, Gatorade. You know, like, when it comes to drinks, like juice drinks and power drinks, and not that I ever really have power drinks, but when I was a kid, um, I had a friend, and he always used to have Ribena orange or, like, orange squash. And that was his thing. Um, whereas me, I was Ribena. I love blackcurrant. I love blackcurrant. I think in America, it's quite interesting because I don't think they have black coat, or if they do, it's a lot harder to come by. Um, in America, I think you have grape. 
Grape sort of the go-to. Uh, over here, we don't really have grape. We have, um, I think maybe you call blackcurrants grapes. I don't know. Um, but what I miss and what was a thing was Fanta Zesty Berry. You have Fanta uh, Fruit Blast or Fruit Twist, which is the red one. You have regular Fanta. You have Fanta Icy Lemon. But at the time, there was also a Fanta... Oh, yeah, I'll buy those back. Why not? There was a Fanta Zesty Berry. Oh, no. Come on. Whoa, I was a bit scared there. I was trying to click it and it was not registering. Ooh, a full team of tanks. Let's go. But, um, like, Zesty Berry was awesome because it was blackcurrant, but it was fizzy. It had this awesome taste to it. And that was the only one they stopped doing. Only one. Like, I would have... If I have to have a Fanta, I will either go for... Fruit Twist, because that smell is so nostalgic to me. That's, like, my teenage years when I would just play Halo 3 and I had, like, a two-liter bottle of it and I would just drink it all that day. Which is not a good thing you should do because there's way too much sugar. Um... Or Icy Lemon. Icy Lemon sort of reminds me, if I have it with Ice Cube, sort of holiday. I think the first time I had it was on holiday and it was gorgeous. Um, that's another thing, like Fanta abroad, depending on where you go. Like if you go to, um, I know I've got a friend who lives in South Africa now, he's moved back. Um, he brought over some of it and it is so sweet. It is like pure sugar. Um, like that is really nice, but you could probably only have half a bottle um, before you start throwing up everywhere. Um, but, like, I, I would, I would leave the Fanta Orange, like, just the regular. It's all chemically and horrible. Well, the one in England is, anyway. But that's not what we're here for, we're here for Little Brute. Who's doing pretty well, but not too bad. They've got the advantage, even though they've used all the blocks and specials. And uh, never look at how many they've got. Always look at their blocks and specials, because that is what determines a fight, not how many creatures they've got left. So far, we are definitely winning. Uh, ooh, I would go for a special, but they probably block. And I'm glad I didn't, because they would have. Damn you, Lisa. Is Lisa dressed as Pocahontas? I can't tell. She's got a little necklace on, long hair. I, I, I don't know. I, I possibly? Eh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Lisa. I've got to destroy all your botted creatures. And what's funny is when this first started, everyone was like, No, they're real people, Fever. Look, there's names and pictures. And... Um, I was like, oh, maybe they are. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. And then the biggest breakthrough was the fact that they used dupli duplicate creatures, which they did use in the Jurassic one, which is awesome. I'm so glad I actually recorded that because it ne it's never happened to me before. And that's impossible. You can't do that in this game. And the fact is that people have fought me with creatures that I don't have, like creatures lower level. Um, and that's happened in Jurassic World, the game. People have sent me pictures of um, them fighting me with dinosaurs that I don't have that level. Um, so that gives it away. Basically, it, it's all like, if you feel like you're fighting other people in a game, it makes it- Oh, wow, Indicrithium was like, nope, 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 I'm out of there. So poor, poor Baldi. Baldi's gonna have to absorb all the damage. Um, and then Indicrithium will come in for, for one final bout and be killed by a special. Depending on how much health I have, actually. It might not be. Well, it, no, it will, because it's, it's got enough health to survive one hit, so I'll probably have to go for a spell. But yeah, it's quite interesting, and uh, they never fixed it. They never were like, oh, yeah, guys. I think they just take it as a given that we know they're not bots. Sorry, that we know they aren't real people, that they are bots. I think that's what they, they say. Um, because if they flat out went and said, okay guys, yeah, we, we had you, they're not real people. Um, then they would have to answer the question as to why they pretended that they were real people. And obviously, that's because more people want to play it. If you're playing against real people, there's something about it that is just far more rewarding than fighting bots. That's why every game nowadays has multiplayer. You very rarely find a game that is just like a campaign or a single player. They all have online online multiplayer, most of them. I say that, but then there's certain genres that don't like, you know, survival horror doesn't usually, but then you've got DayZ. There's, there's a lot more games out there that are multiplayer than single player because it's, it's, 
And even games that aren't necessarily like Candy Crush are because it's all about sharing your high score, wanting to beat other people's high score and seeing how far they've got. So what I'm gonna do is buy these two back and finish with... Kiwi Bird. I'm gonna finish with Kiwi Bird. Because I don't think I've ever finished with Kiwi Bird or ve very rarely have I ever finished with Kiwi Bird? Let's go! This could this could be Oh no! No, we yeah, we definitely won. As soon as I saw macaroni, I was like, yeah. Little brute, mm, tricky. Uh Elijah Matthew, yeah, still tricky. Macaroni? Nah. <laughs> Not worth the effort. And if they block Kiwi Bird's attack, if they say their blocks to last, that would be awesome. Because Gaming Beaver and Indicatheum can wipe out these first two easy. And then pretty sure Kiwi Bird's in the same league as Macaroni. Especially when it's been uh, nerfed. Look at that! Three hits and it's almost dead. Sorry, two hits. Three hits and it will be dead. You'll be dead. Two hits and we are still a clean um, one hit away from death. It, however, is not. And there it comes. If it goes for a special, it's a waste. No, I didn't think so, yeah. Oh, we may have survived one more hit. Is Game Beaver going to take five hits to be killed? Oh, they do not want to go down. They want their Elasmatherium to kill it. Go on, have a, have a, cut it. I did it! Four hits and still not dead. Oh, there's a reason. There's a reason why it's one of the best creatures. Butush! And it took it out! Look at that, used two blocks. I think we went first though, but it still didn't die. Ah, uh, now it did. But that's okay, because we've got the creature with the most health in the game of everything. And a not shabby attack. 3,000. Pretty damn good. That is, it's uh, basically it's on par with not the best sweepers, but a regular sweeper. No, actually, no, it is. Because Titanoboa only does 3,100. This does 3,060, so it is, it is literally less than 100 difference. Oh my god. Th these two, I think, could probably take on everything. You may- actually, yeah, if you just put those two in, and then just a regular gold, you've probably won. Yep, if it goes for a special, it might kill me. It wouldn't have, actually. It wouldn't have killed me. So, it's got no more blocks. It's gonna be macaroni against Kiwi Bird. Oh, this is it. This is exciting. Two sort of underdogs. Come macaroni, kick its butt. Oh, goes for the overkill. Don't no messing around here. 3,200 brings in. Kiwi bird. Oh, let's go. Go for this peck out eyes. Oh, it's gonna be a special off here. Let's go. I was wondering, why are you taking so long deciding? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh! Could we survive a regular hit? Could we? I think we'll die, actually, if we take another hit. To be fair, Macaroni is a limited creature. So is Kiwi Bird, but it's not as good. I'm gonna block. I'm just gonna have to go for it. Um, and let's finish with the final by Kiwi Bird, I think. For the first time ever, or probably second time ever, you've won. And not only have you won, you have won the final battle. Wow, they really slowed down that animation. And there you go, 60 bucks. And that brings us to 377. Factor in the extra 60 we're going to win, which will bring us to... Uh, 437. So, pretty, pretty sure that is exactly how I started before I started this gold, like, rush to all-star. And that, my friends, is it.
that is the final episode of Jurassic Park Builder Glacier Tournament. So, final words? Um, it's been a roller coaster ride. Um, of course, like I said before, if there's new creatures, I'll review them. Don't worry, we'll max them out and have you have an awesome time. But I think this might be the end of the road for Jurassic Park Builder. This does not mean that you don't play it and it's not awesome. But for me, I've got everything, got every decoration, got every building, got every creature. There's nothing more. So, one, I did say I would go over the uh, win statistics, and, oh, okay, so, three victories, six victories, one defeat, nine victories, two defeats, 13 victories, three defeats, and apparently, all-star, I've got three victories? Oh, I see, so it's each battle it counts, not whether or not it's the actual full thing, it's each battle, so I've won three, that was easy. And then it took two games to win that, but I lost. Even in silver, I lost. Um, and then it took three to get from gold to platinum. And then it took... How, how could you get 13 victories? I'm s Oh, I must have died on this. I died in the uh, semifinals. So it takes one victory to get to bronze to silver. Two victories from silver to gold. Gold three, platinum four, and an all-star you just wait. So I'm going to quickly check the uh, statistics for the aquatic because I'm pretty sure I did this undefeated. Three victories, six victories. Oh, no, I lost one. Ah, oh, ten victories. Um, oh, and I lost one as well then. Oh, God. Nine victories and three. And finally, for Jurassic, we have five victories, one defeat. What? But I've only... Oh, that's right. I did I did lose one tonight. Damn it. Oh, we lost in bronze as well. How? Six victories, nine victories, nine victories, and five. So gold and platinum, I was awesome with. For some odd reason, I lost in bronze. Not... So silver, gold, platinum, I was awesome. But for some stupid reason, I lost in bronze and lost in all-star. So guys, that's good enough to wrap up the series. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you in another series. Bye-bye!